Hi, today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite skincare items that are completely pure, completely natural, completely great, a lot cheaper than other things out there, and they are not coconut oil. And I love coconut oil, but it's not the greatest moisturizer for my skin. I found that it would actually tend to dry out my skin, and it would feel really greasy and whatever for a while, and then my skin just wouldn't retain the moisture. So. That is why I don't use it anymore as moisturizer. So I absolutely love the products that I'm going to share with you. I tell everyone about them. And that's why I'm telling you about them because they are great. Okay? So here we go. Alright, so the first one that I wanted to share with you is Shea Butter or Shea Butter. This probably sounds familiar to you because it's in a lot of different things and a lot of different moisturizers will, will tell you that they're Shea Butter, but... Um, Shia, Shea, I don't know. I'll probably say it every different way this whole time. But here's mine. It did not come in this. It came in a big bag in plastic. And I bought it off Amazon in super bulk for a great price. I think I got a pound for like $15 or something. I don't know. Like literally like this much. Which is, I mean it's lasted me years. $15 and it's totally pure, totally natural. And it works so well. This is the best moisturizer ever. It's very thick, see, it's very creamy and thick. I use it on my body, all over. I even use it on my face at nighttime as a moisturizer. It takes a little bit of time to sink in, but it's so moisturizing. It feels so nice on your skin. And why, I mean, why buy like body butter when this is, like when you could just buy this, like this has none of the bad stuff in it and it's completely great. So. That's why I love this. That's why I love it. I use this on my baby, on her bottom, and on her body because it's also great for her. And like I said, it does take a little bit of time to soak in. That's why I like it at nighttime after I shower because it can just soak right in. Take its time. I'll link that one below. This is just a baby food jar. It's just a jar from Target. And it's glass. And this is also great. I use it on my lips too. Honestly, I don't know what this isn't good for. I've heard it can reduce inflammation, too. It's just very soothing to your skin. It's very... You have to try it. It's just awesome. Okay, so the other product that I love as a moisturizer is, is almond oil. And it's actually sweet almond oil. I put mine in this thing because I got it in, like, a huge bottle that is very big, so... This works well. You just have to kind of be careful it doesn't spray everywhere when you get it out. But this I like to use all over my body as well. This is more of a lighter moisturizer. The almond oil just soaks up a little bit quicker, so I like that about it. If you want it to smell good, obviously it doesn't have a scent. But if you want it to smell good, you can add essential oils. Like if you're going to do a nighttime thing and want to be relaxed, you can add lavender oil or whatever oils you like. I discovered it when I was pregnant when... I, when, I don't know how I discovered it, but I would rub it on my belly, and I never got stretch marks. I don't know if this is why, but I don't know. This is great. It is more moisturizing than coconut oil, and it has no scent, which I like. It's liquid, which is convenient. I still prefer this as just a general moisturizer for your legs, arms, whatever. Also, all of these things are so much cheaper than the store-bought Things you would get filled with a ton of yucky stuff that you don't want to put on your body. It's important to consider what we put on our skin because our skin is our largest organ. And our skin, it just soaks everything right in that you put on it. So, And it goes into your blood, I think, right? It goes into your blood. I don't know. It just it affects your body. It affects the chemistry of your body. And it can be very toxic and harmful. So why buy gross lotion that has a ton of chemicals and synthetic fragrances when you can buy a big thing of almond oil for like a quarter of the price that will last you way longer that is more moisturizing and the last one that I wanted to talk about is not a moisturizer but it's apple cider vinegar and I love apple cider vinegar I love it for I love it in food it's just awesome it has so many beneficial properties this is the best one I definitely recommend you checking this one out this is Bragg's um, organic apple cider vinegar. It's raw and unfiltered. 
it is nice and cloudy because it has all that good bacteria going on. This is great stuff. I love it. You really should. Just Google benefits of apple cider vinegar and you'll be surprised. And then you'll want to put a little bit on everything. Maybe not everything, but some things. Yeah, okay, so that I like to use as a facial toner. So after I wash my face, I like to... Where is it? Let's see. I like to... Another baby food jar. I like to just put, you know, open this up, dip this little cotton swab in and put it on my face like a toner. And it just helps kind of clean off any makeup or dirt or whatever left behind. What's great about it is that it is acidic and our skin is naturally acidic so it balances the pH of our skin. So as opposed to just stripping it down and we, you know, we do all these things to our skin, it helps to balance it back out to its healthy state. It also helps to kill bacteria on your skin or any, if you have any acne or whatever, it's going to help clean that up. And it does have a slightly unpleasant smell, but it's okay and it goes away. It's not like you're going to stink like it forever, so... I don't mind. Um, anyways, this is just mixed with water. I don't really measure anything. That's just kind of how I do things, but it's, I don't know, probably half and half. Everyone's skin's kind of different, so test it out in a small area. Isn't that what things say? Test it out in a small area and see how your skin responds. I think it'll be fine. This has so many other benefits. I haven't used it. I, tr I haven't, actually, I d we did try on my husband once for dandruff. Um, that... That was stinky. I don't know. But you can look into it. I've heard great testimonies about it. For Dandra, <laughs> we didn't stick with it long enough. He honestly smelled it. His hair smelled like apple cider vinegar for at least a day. Ugh. Yeah. Alright, so I think that's it. That is it. That is it. So Shea Butter, Almond Oil, and Apple Cider Vinegar, I highly suggest you check them out. So much cheaper than buying cosmetics that have a ton of crap thrown in them and synthetic fragrances. Anyways, check it out. Let me know if you find them helpful. I know everyone's so obsessed with coconut oil, but these are awesome too, so you should check them out and go buy them. Go buy them. I mean, I'm sure you can find you can find anything in Whole Foods. So Whole Foods or Amazon or Vitacost. So yeah, if you we're interested in this, let me know. So I have so much I could probably share on just more natural sort of stuff too. And that's it. That's it. Hope you have a fabulous day. Okay, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And let me know in a comment or a like or whatever if you like this. And let me know if it works for you. I'd love to know. Okay, bye-bye.